us to another episode on ASUG 12 exams. So in this episode, we're going to focus on the structure section of the English 2023 paper 2. So we're going to start with section A, which focuses on the Lexis and the Kali's 10 marks. So the instruction leads from the four options provided, select the best response and show your answer by drawing a circle around it, the letter as shown in the example. So example, the police prevented us dash entering the building. Then we have the option A against, B from C in D2. B is the best answer and it has been circled in that manner. Okay, so let us look at question one. All the contractors should conform dash laid down specification. We have A by B in C to D with. So what is the best answer? So the best answer is 2. So the verb conform is typically followed by 2. When referring to a compliance with specific say rules or standards. So we conform to something. So in this case, conform to is the correct answer. So hence, C is the best answer. We go to number two. It is about time we dash rehabilitating the school. So what is key here is about time. It is about time. So we have begun, begin, begun, should begin. So, what is the best answer? So, the best answer in this case is option A, which is begun. So, why option A? So, after the phrase is about time, we use the past simple tense, not the past participle. So, in this case, the past simple tense of begin, this word begin, so the past simple tense is begun. So hence the answer is begun, which is in A. You notice the difference. So the begun with you, this one, this is the past participle of the verb begin. Then it should begin this is a model verb phrase which expresses advice or recommendation. So this cannot be the answer. So that's why A is the best answer. Number three, nowhere else in Africa dash seen such an uprising. A did I, B have I, C I had, D I have. So which one is the best answer? So the answer is if I, which is B. Why is that the answer? So when you look at this sentence, it's an example of invasion, where the auxiliary verb have comes before the subject I for emphasis. This is often used after words like nowhere, we have seldom, then we have rarely etc. So in this case, we go with sentence inversion. And you notice this under the transformation or rewrites. This is always comes. So there is always a question that will ask you to do inversion. Number four, the government has taken austerity measures with a view dash improving the economy. So what is the key here? The key is view with the view. So we have A for B in C of D2. What is the correct answer? So the correct answer is D which is 2. So the reason why the phrase with a view to is used to indicate the purpose or intention of an action. Hence, Two is the best answer. Number five, she does not obey her husband, comma, dash, dash, does she care for her parents? A and B, but C, either, D, no. 
So you notice that among the options, they sound to be similar, but you can remove B and C. So it can lead she does not obey her husband and she does not care for her parents. D she does not obey her husband, comma, nor does she care for her husband. But because of this comma, D cannot be the answer. If you are combining two sentences using and, there will be no comma if these two are being joined using a conjunction. So, in this case, D is the correct answer. Take note, we have two negative room statements. The first negative, she does not obey her husband. Then when you introduce no, it will mean we are introducing a further negative statement, which is she does not care about him, her parent. So she does not obey her husband, nor does she care for her parents. So D is the correct answer. So the no conjunction is used to introduce further negative statements. Take note of that. Question 6, if we dash sufficient funds comma we would have bought science text books we have a had b had had c have d have had so which one is the correct answer so the correct answer would be had had if we had had sufficient funds comma we would have bought science text book B. Why is that the case? So if you look at him, this type of a sentence is an example of the third condition which is used to talk about a hypothetical situation in the past. So in this case the hard hard indicates the past perfect condition something that did not happen. Question number seven the sharp person waited for the laughter to die dash dash before he spoke we have a down b hof c how d hub which one is the best answer so the best answer in this case is die down the sharp person waited for the laughter to die down before he spoke so a is the best answer so why is the so why is die down the best answer? The phrase die down is used to describe something like sound or laughter or decreasing or fading gradually until it stops. So you don't need to confuse with die out. Die out is used to describe something that gradually disappears. Then die off is similar to die out then die away is a phrase used to similar as it die down so in this case die down is the best because die down goes with him something like his sound and the laughter produces the sound question eight having dash the national anthem we went back to class we have a sang b sing c singing d sang the only difference is in the tenses so the correct answer here is D, which is sung with you. So the word having is often followed by a past participium. So this is past participial tense, which indicate that one action was completed before another action took place. So we say having sung the national anthem, so we sang the national anthem, then it was completed, then we went back to class. Number nine, you should all be committed dash working hard. We have at four in two. So amongst those four, which one is the best answer? So two is the best answer, which is D. So you should lead you should all be committed to working hard. So the verb committed is the key, which is typically followed by two when referring to dedication or obligation towards something. So hence D is the correct answer. Number 10, my uncle did not mind dash for me. A wait, B waiting, C 
to wait d to waiting which one is the best answer so the best answer in this case is e, waiting my uncle did not mind waiting for me which is e, b the verb mind is what is e, key so the verb mind is typically followed by e, the ing form when referring to being bothered or annoyed by something so that's what is e, key number 11 in order for us to do a good job comma we should dash all the available options a exhum b explore c implore d inquire all these they sound similar but which one is the best answer the best answer is explore which is b in order for us to do a good job we should explore all the available options why is that the case the verb explore is used to mean examine or consider something in order to make a decision hence explore is the best solution in this case number 12 when i saw her at the market comma she was dash a black suit a putting on b dressing on c dressing d dressed in so what is the best option so you notice that b and c are up. so there is putting on and d dressed in so which one is the correct answer so dressed in and putting on are both phrases used in english to describe the act of wearing clothes but take note that these two are used differently or in different context let me start with dressed in so dressed in is used to describe what someone is currently wearing it refers to the state of being already dressed so now this one was at the market so she is already dressed she is already putting on so dressed in would be the best answer in this case then just to explain the putting on so putting on is a phrase used to describe the action of dressing oneself or someone else it refers to the process of dressing not the final state hence a cannot be the collecting answer so take note of that so so just to put it in lighting putting on is refers to the process then dressed in refers to the final state which is in someone is already putting on the suit number 13 by and dash comma the workshop was in fruitful a behold b by c large c so so when you look at the option this one is a common phrase that is used in our day-to-day -day communication so it should lead by and large comma the workshop was in fruitful so nc would be the collective answer so this is something that you should know and number 14 before our departure for greener pastures comma tandy remembered to bid farewell to her dash and kin a kids b keith c neighbors d lility almost all of these can be collect but there is one which is more collect than any other so you notice that keith is the best answer because keith refers one's friend acquaintances and neighbors so keith covers all the other because the kid is a subset of Keith, C is a subset of Keith, D is a subset of Keith. So Keith is the best answer in this case. Number 15. The criminal was apprehended after the police had been tipped. Dash M about B at C for D off. So if you look at him, the options, this is a common phrase, so D would be the correct answer, which is in tipped off 
So the phrase tipped off is commonly used to refer to the act of providing someone with confidential or insider information. Hence, D is the correct answer for 15. Number 16, the children trembled with fear when the elephants dash. A, bleed. B, law. C, squawk. D, trumpet. So, D is the collecting. And elephants are known to make trumpet-like sound, especially when they are excited or distressed or angry. And trumpet is the best answer because we are dealing with elephants. Number 17, Mulimona learned down a dash of stairs to meet her mother. A stack, B set, C fleet, D cluster. Fleet is the best answer in this because the term fleet is usually used to refer to a set of stairs between floors or levels in the building. So you notice that we are referring to stairs. Number 18, Mr. Mushiba bought his house through an dash. Agent, agents, auditor, agent. So an agent would be collect his spelled as D. So D, in this context of buying a house, an agent or specifically a real estate agent is the light term that would be used because it would refer to a professional who represent the buyers and sellers in the real estate transaction. We go to number 19. The audience has been sitting dash two hours. A for B in C since D with. So if you look at 19, the correct answer is the audience has been sitting for two hours. The proposition for is Mostly used to indicate duration of time. Hence, A is the correct answer. Number 20. She will manage to locate his uncle's house. Dash Katimamuriro Road. A along B by C in D on. So what is key? You notice that even by Katimamuriro Road, along Katimamuriro Road, in Katimamuriro Road on would still lead collect but what is key here is the location and the, the load so in this context the correct answer would be D this is because the preposition on is usually used to indicate a specific location along a load so in this case we are looking for a specific location and that location is in his uncle's house so ends on is the best one would argue why not alone so the preposition alone is used to indicate movement or location along a length of some often a line or a, a route so when talking about street along is used to refer multiple locations or stretch of that street but in this case, it's a specific location, which is one house. So if it was a set of houses, along would be the correct answer. So, ends on is the best answer. So, this is how you answer these 20 questions with feel listening to get the 10 marks. So, feel free to comment on the comment section indicating what. Please feel free to comment in comment section to indicate what are your scores how many have you gotten out of 20 where do you think you don't agree with the reasoning please let us discuss so join me in the next episode as we look at the rewrites or transformation thank you